This is the LogRocket dashboard, and I'm going to take you through three different ways you'd use LogRocket in your workflow. The first way is when a user reports an issue, you can find their session in LogRocket to quickly identify what happened, save time spent reproducing the issue, and reach a resolution faster. So you can search for the user by their name, email, or user ID. So in this example, I'm going to use Stan's email. So if Stan reported an issue, I'd be able to filter down to his sessions. If I'm using a customer support tool like Zendesk or Intercom, you can integrate LogRocket with those tools so that you would have a URL to that person's sessions right on their support ticket. When you go into the session, typically customer support or tier one support would use the playback mode to see exactly what the user did in their session and identify what the problem was, what they did before and after, and see some identifying details about their IP address, their browser name and operating system, when they were first and last seen on the site. If this were escalated to engineering, engineers would typically use our developer mode, which shows the same video alongside all of the console logs and network requests. You can also go into each network request to see the response. So by using LogRocket, rather than spending days or weeks trying to reproduce an elusive bug, you can see the reproduction in seconds. If you want to share this with a colleague, you can copy and paste the URL and it will take them exactly to this point in the video. Or you can use our share button to share with integrated tools like Jira or Ascend or GitHub. The second way you'd use LogRocket is our error reporting tab. This is surfacing JavaScript exceptions in your application. So if you want to proactively identify issues that might be affecting users before they reach a wider audience, this is how you do it. When you go into each error, you'll see some statistics around when it was, how often it was seen in the last day, the last month, which systems are being impacted the most. We have the stack traces down here. And we'll show you a video of a real user session where this error occurred. So you'll see where the red line is denotes where the error occurred, and this will help better understand what was the impact on the end user and prioritize if this is something that needs to be fixed sooner rather than later. For more context, you'd go into view full session. That would take you back to the developer mode and playback view for more information. We also have Slack and email alerts for when new errors occur that can be customized to um, frequency or certain types of errors. The last way you'd use LogRocket is to understand trends and user behavior. So you can filter down sessions by things like what people clicked on, an amount of time spent on your application, if they visited one URL but not the other, and even if somebody rage clicked. So this is really useful for product and UX teams to uncover insights about user behavior that they wouldn't otherwise be able to do.